Hey guys, go on ahead and tap that heart. If you're on TikTok, go on and tap that heart. If you're catching a replay back on YouTube, go on ahead and hit that like, comment, and subscribe. So today I'm going to be doing a live cooking video and I have the Cozy Max food steamer. This is a live cooking review video. I have not used this. This is brand new. And today I'm going to be cooking some salmon steam. Well, steaming some salmon and steaming some Asian vegetables. So let's go ahead and get this thing open. See what's going on. Welcome in. Welcome in. What's up, buddy? Aeroponic underscore adventure. What's going on? What's going on? Y'all coming on in. What y'all doing tonight? What's up, Larry White 13? Let's get it done. Cause my daughter is hungry. <laughs> So I actually had already opened this part this way, but I didn't take it out the box because once I do a review, I want to just have that one video and just edit, cut it up and do pieces and pieces, whatever I need from that. All right. So when you open it up, you get your food steamer instruction manual, and this is what the product is going to look like. Okay which i'm gonna need to go over there because i never used one of these before all right so let's go ahead i'm gonna be careful opening up these boxes a lot of this stuff i get come from overseas and across the ocean all right so let's get this box out the way package good We have this top lid right there. Let me go ahead because we cannot find that page that'll tell you exactly what you're looking at. All right, so this is the lid. This is the steamer bowl. Welcome in, welcome in. This is steamer bowl number two. It looks like we got three steamer bowls. All right. Oh, yeah. I'm shaking y'all up. And there's number three steamer bowl. So you get three bowls, which we are going to sanitize and wash all this stuff before we cook in it. And then you have the water inlet drawer. Okay, number six. That's what I'm looking at, y'all, right here. So this is the water inlet drawer. I believe this is where we put the water at. I see something right here. Okay, so. Probably there's a little steam of water probably goes in there, but we're gonna make sure before we use it. Six yeah, water inlet drawer. Okay, and then it says water tank. Seven water tank right here. Eight. Say water max right here. Alright, so let's go ahead and wash these up. So I'm going to turn y'all around. I already made the dish water. Don't talk about my fan sitting in that basket because it's broke. So I'm just basically going to wash these first. You always want to sanitize your Whatever you get as far as cooking, you know, cook your, clean that stuff out, wash it real good. The other part, we can't put that in the dish rack, so I'm just going to um, wipe it out with this rag. I have 
haven't been on TikTok all day today because I've been busy doing other stuff that had to come first for TikTok. back this way over here and this part I'm just going to wipe this part out I would normally look at a YouTube video and see if somebody bought one of these already and did a review on them so I'm pretty sure this is where the water goes at plug it up A freaking bomb child I've been busy behind the scenes one of them people that work behind the scenes a lot well you don't have to show the face it's nine o'clock at night and I never cook late but like I said my daughter had cheerleading practice she was late Coming home, and I was busy, so all right. I'm gonna bring my salmon over and my frozen vegetables and this sauce is still over there. So it says water. Hmm. It says start to stop. Turn on and off machine. Enter steam mode. You can adjust the steamer timer up and down. Da, 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 da. All of that. Spare part descriptions. This is base. Don't add other liquids except water. Except water. Drip tray is supposed to collect any excess water or condensation. Get on that. Do have freaking nets because freaking plants <gasps> anywho where were we steam bowl when using steam bowls you have the flexibility to steam food use a single bowl or use two or three so i'm going to use two i could put them together but i don't want the vegetable i just want to see how it's going to cook please remember that steam bowl should be placed in the following order from bottom to top what they got a number on i smacked that net with that Nope. Alright. So this is the top. It says top right there. And then this one says two on it. And this one says one. So we're going to use. Did it say from top to bottom or bottom to top? With regards to get some demonstration, the remember the bowl should be placed in the order from bottom to top. Okay, bottom to top. So, what's number three? So, it'll be number three. Something this What the other thing is? We got a lot going on here, y'all. So, if I put the water in here, then this is going to be here. What the heck go right here, though? 
Let me rinse this out again. Remember, this is a live review. Make sure this is where you it say water level. Where my paper at? Why I put this water in this dang thing? Seven water tank, water tank window. So yeah, the water goes in here. If I mess it up, Lord help me. Okay. I think I see the can't quite see that level. I think it's right there. I believe that part that comes out probably is an overflow. Six water inlet drawer. Well, that's probably what you're supposed to. Um, I really can't see it. like that and pull the water in there from right here it said water inlet draw right there so that's probably supposed to pull the water in but I just filled it up from right there and then it says make sure you put it from bottom to top and this is three Don't put them in right they're not going to sit in there right so that's the bottom one which and two we don't need to so we don't need this top one middle and they look at me child tell y'all read i don't like reading at night it say middle right here and it say bottom on there and then it says top y'all did a lot of reviews today i'm super tired but I want to go ahead and do this one because it requires cooking. So I'm like, hey, I can go ahead and go live. Chop this up. All right. Let's go ahead and turn this thing on. So I'm going to put the salmon at the bottom and I'm going to put the veggies in this one at the top. But hold on. Let me see. Let's see how it's gonna start. What it's gonna start doing? Y'all ain't coming or sitting and bitch y'all. Okay. I'm making sure I ain't ignoring nobody. I'm just reading because I never used one of these before. <clears throat> so it's saying over here before first use wash lid, steamer bowls, and drip tray and warm soapy water. Then rinse and dry. We did that. Wipe the interior of water reservoir with a damp, non brace of cloth. I did that. Um, notice never operate steam without water in reservoir. So that's this where the water was. And it's showing you right here how to steam. So you put the water in there, you place this on top. Start. Guess I'm supposed to mesh steam. Go from the bottom. I'm just gonna start, start steam. Add water will tank. Let me go ahead and put my food in here. 
lost some milk or something. So, my hands are clean. I'm going to place this salmon in here. I normally would put our salmon in the air fryer. I don't cook salmon in the oven. All right. easy meals my oldest is 22 21 19 about my baby boy fit to be uh 17 and my daughter is 15 going on 16 so i have grown kids teenagers adolescents adults okay so therefore ain't nobody i ain't gonna be doing all that cooking baby i like easy meals okay quick and easy meals Follow me on YouTube. You know I ain't gonna be standing up on my legs doing all that hard labor and cooking. No, I'm not. Did that when they were little. All right, so I'm gonna place this top over here. Now, for some reason, I'm doing something because this thing keep cutting off. Thank y'all for the 25 likes. Get the lights up, get the lights up, get the lights up. This, I want it on, okay, 60. Okay, so that's 60. Let me say time. Child, let's just do that. It won't start, maybe because I'm doing something wrong. I just heard it click. Now let me read. It said, add the water in the one that's hate through water and let drawer. I told y'all I was supposed to put the water up there. I always do stuff before I read. It says, prepare food and place in the steam bowl, which we did. We got the salmon here. We got the vegetables here. Then it said, plug in and press steam button to set timer. which I just put it on 22 minutes. And then it says you have the flexibility to steam food using a single bowl or two, use two or three bowls together for simultaneously steaming, meaning I could have add another one on there. Thank y'all, 42 likes, get the likes up, get the likes up. Thank y'all. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. So you can cook multiple things on here whatever you want to have in here um that you're going to be steaming you can cook a whole meal like this right here the only thing that i have on the stove over here in that pot ain't nothing in them pot like when i wash them i put them right there for the dry but this water boiling and i got some instant mashed potatoes over there that i'm about to pour in here for my daughter because she said she wanted mashed potatoes with um her salmon um i probably eat some i probably don't but like the salmon and the vegetables is good enough for me it's late um what else over here so it said you had a flexibility to steam food use a single bowl or to use two or three bowls together for a stimulus stimulusly steaming please remember that steam bowl should be placed in the following order from bottom to top now y'all see me up here struggling so therefore if you try to just put in it like i did if you try to just put any one of these uh trays on here and they're not in order you're not going to be able to do that because they're not going to be able to fit you're going to have to put them accordingly from bottom to middle to top okay and they do have the number here right here so it'll go three two one and then it'll go top right here it'll say top middle and bottom so we learned that 
for people like me that don't like reading dang on directions and just want to do what they want to do. So it says press the add or subtraction to adjust desired cooking time. Maximum cooking steam is 60 minutes. That's what I put it on there. We know dang on well this food not fit to take no 60 minutes. But I'm just playing with it and letting it do what it do. And we're going to see how it's going to cook this food and how it's going to come out. As long as it's done, I'm good. So it says, notice if there's no operation to cooking time machine will start cooking after approximately 10 seconds. You can also press start off button to stop. That's why I kept on beeping. So it says, if there is no operation to cooking time machine will start cooking after approximately 10 seconds. So watch it, because it'll do it after 10 seconds. It's going to start cooking on its own. Um, number seven, it says when the cooking time is completed, the unit will beat five times and lead screen will display off. I'm trying to, I see something blue on it. Let me turn this light off for a minute. Can y'all, I thought I did right here. So like if you want to turn your light off like me, I like having my light on over the stove. And don't have this big old light that's above me. That thing. So it get hot in this dang on kitchen with that um big old light. I'm like one of them dang on school lights. It dang on cafeteria. Be hot up in here. But I knew I seen that it was lighting up right there. That's really neat. I like that. That's cool. So yeah. You wanted to do that? That's nice. So it says step seven, when cooking time is completed, the unit will beat five times. So we ain't going to, I don't think y'all know, okay, this is, salmon don't take long, okay? The vegetables are already done. We basically just steaming them and warming them up. So we know it ain't going to take no whole hour, all right? But it does say once it stops, it's going to beat five times. Thank y'all for the 90 likes and the 15 people up in here. User 85 18 80 98 24 69. What's up? What's up, Rainbow? What's up, Rose Blue 927? What's up, user 414 Y'all with these usernames, y'all don't be signed in. What's up, Andy 623053. Andy, what's up? What's up, James L. Blakes 3? What's up, Gory? What's up, Leah Williams? What's up, user 744 Y'all sign in, uh, honey. You ain't got to be scared not to sign in to talk to me, baby. I talk back as long as you talk with sense. Y'all go on, sign in so people can see y'all profile picture. Why y'all up here creeping? DR Royalty Aesthetics, what's up? Um, Russell Noel 220, what's up? Heidi Brown 68, what's up? Tina Harris 433, what's up? Alicia Parker 95, what's up? Jane Smith, what's up? How about Crystal? Oh, we got the same name, girl. I gotta follow you. How about Crystal T330? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's going on, y'all? So it says here how to set delay steam time. For example, the current time is 16. 16 minutes and 35 seconds. The delay time steam is 20 minutes and 40 seconds. And steam timer is 10 minutes. So it's showing you how to do that, which I need to learn how to do. So it says press time now. But y'all, my ADHD and my anxiety so bad, I would literally keep coming in here checking on it. Because a lot of y'all don't know when I was going through cancer and stuff, I'm in remission. So if you if you knew here. But when I was going through that, a lot of that still sticks with me like when i'm cooking i forget that i'm cooking because my mind be on something else i be doing multiple things at you know at the same time doing a lot of things and i used to burn food like my children be like mama check the food and that was coming from all that medication and stuff that i was on it causes me to forget um it's not as bad as it used to be but i still have a bit of memory loss um, and I do forget, like I get sidetracked. So, send the time and like set it and forget it. That's something I ain't gonna never do. I'ma always come in here or set an alarm or something on my phone because I always have my phone on him, so I can come back in here and check it. Because child, baby, shoot, baby, I put something in. Forget about my children and be in here hollering. Talking about they smell something burning, but it's basically telling you how to delay the um steamer. Then it says press time now button minutes will flash on the display. See above, see press 
up or down to adjust current minutes. So, hey. Okay. Is it is it steaming? I think it's steaming, y'all. But look, I don't want to start it. Stop it, I mean. It's definitely steaming. I believe they talking about that before it stop. As you can see, once it start, you definitely can't do that. So it says press time now button to finish current time setting. LED screen will display on. It's definitely on because we've seen the lights and stuff on. Thank y'all for the 90 lights. I'm about to do these mashed potatoes in a minute, but I'm trying to read this. It's a press delay timer button LED screen with display current time and the hour will flash on the display. Have any of y'all used one of these products before? Do y'all have one of these steamers in y'all home? Everybody using air fryer these days. Press delay time seems LED with display current time and the hour will flash. But my health wise y'all like, oh, I hate talking about it, but I do like talking about it too. You know motivate other people that are going through and went through the same thing i can only eat fried once a week doctors order um i don't drink i don't smoke i can drink red wine only due to you know my past health issues of the cancer um i do have gastro stomach problems like gerd uh acid reflux so i have to watch the milk the cheese but a lot of that come with coffee because i love creamer so therefore Putting all that cream in my coffee like right now my stomach feel nauseous it's like i need to eat but it's not because i need to eat it's because i had coffee today and that creamer but like if i eat a lot of fried food y'all i would literally be in the doctor office a lot i'm not in the doctor office a lot anymore or in the hospital because stomach throwing up to the point of feel like your insides about to come out type grd is just so i just try to eat right and i think this would definitely help me um eat more healthier um i really don't even crave for fried food like that even when my daughter cook it used to bother me i'm like don't cook that around me wait till i go to sleep or something but now she be cooking stuff you know fried food or anything like she like mom you want something like i be trying to think like did i already eat fried food this week and she be like i don't know and I just sit up there and think, and then I remember, I was like, nah, I'm good. I don't want to eat it because they not going to be up with me late at night when my stomach be hurting. Just like I had yesterday, I had, um, was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday, but the day before, we had leftovers yesterday. So, the day before yesterday, I cooked homemade hamburger patties, and you know how you put it with the rice and the gravy, and I had some spicy kimchi. Knowing that I can't eat kimchi late at night, should have known that kimchi was going to man. You talking about somebody's stomach with her, bro? My stomach with her so bad from that kimchi. I was in that toilet screaming, Jesus help me, tight. Bring the fan, take the shirt off, tight. Oh, that's how my stomach, that's how I messed up my stomach and get with certain foods. So I have to watch what I eat. Um. Uh, so basically all of this on here just telling you how to delay the time and stuff change the time and all that so it says press stop button to finish cooking time setting so like if i want to stay this done y'all can see it baby it's, you see that salmon down there that salmon doing it that salmon is cooking because that's where i'm seeing all that steam coming from because it's at the bottom hot let me see y'all i'm dangerous i'm a taurus you do crazy stuff see how i'm touching don't do this i recommend you not do this okay you see how i'm touching this don't do that make sure you got some gloves on some mittens or something because it is hot before tiktok try to get me my dirty mittens y'all need to get some in while i'm showing look at it it's horrible but I just want to show y'all. See all this steam coming down on there? Thank y'all for the 134 likes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Get the likes up. Get the likes up. If y'all would like to order this product, just inbox me, message me, whatever it is on here. Inbox message. And I'll give y'all my affiliated link. I think I got the link in the title. I'm not sure. You know how TikTok is with these affiliated links. 
everything ain't purchased on TikTok. A lot of I ain't bashing TikTok because I'm on here, but I always been with Amazon first before I start trying to sell stuff on TikTok. And a lot of the stuff that TikTok have, Amazon have it too. I mean, it just be a different um brand or seller. But I've seen a lot of stuff that I've been showing y'all from Amazon, like Amazon finds. Then I go on TikTok shop. I see the same thing. Just like this scrubber thing. I'll probably go live and show y'all that tomorrow. But I keep wanting to take my gloves off. It is getting hot. Hold on. Let me show y'all this. Let's see what that water in there doing. Yeah, it's some heat. Be careful right there. That's where the water go in at. You can see all that steam coming out. You can see the steam just dripping. So it's definitely doing what it needs to do. And this bottom part does get hot. I don't know how hot they're going to get, but it's hot. It's warm. All right, let y'all see what's going on. They'll do the. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, look at them colors, y'all. Beautiful colors. I wish I can smell it. Oh, it smells so good up in here. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Look at that heat and that steam. Look at that salmon. Bubbling. It's got, I'm going to show y'all what all I season it with. It's that guacamole. I got guacamole on it. I use guacamole on my salmon. I use this roasted and garlic herb seasoning. I use this New Orleans Cajun seasoning because I like stuff spicy just because I can't eat a lot of fr fried food. So basically when I eat bake or um, air fried food or grilled food, I got to have some type of little kick in there spicy for I won't be thinking about fried food. That's just my little way of handling things. But then I got some onion powder and black pepper. So that's all I used on this on the salmon and then i marinated with um some guacamole salsa which is in the trash but yep letting that do what it do so i'm gonna turn this off oh this girl i don't know about y'all but i got some instant mashed potatoes and i ain't got no butter because we got to do a store run and i ain't got time i can't only do store run on the weekend and we are out of butter, so wait a minute. I got some garlic and herb butter. I probably put a little of that in there. I should have put some of this on my dang on salmon. That's what I should have did. That's hot. This hot. This hot. Hold on, y'all. Shout out to my mod, y'all. Make sure y'all go check my mods out. My son was up in here. three mods my son my daughter best friend in here and my daughter and then aeroponics underscore he was in here <clears throat> let's see your name a lot of names but y'all see my mods in here go check them out I don't really be having no crazy. And then crazy going on up in here. Because I block a lot of stuff out. Been on social media too long. Girl, what we saving this for? Oh, that's gone. She ain't get no homemade mashed potatoes tonight. It's late. Big and easy. 
spoon mom put some of this butter in here and some in eggs. Salt and pepper. I'm gonna let her add her own salt. I don't like adding salt in my food. But I got high blood pressure. So anytime I'm cooking to each his own, I don't always put salt. Yep, I'm one of them bland cookers. Cause I got health issues. Ooh, it smells good. That's the garlic butter. That's the garlic butter. Like black pepper. I love Lando Lakes. I buy Lando Lakes garlic butter, honey butter, and the regular butter. Got it. Strong black pepper, and I noticed when I downsize to these little things, it don't take but a little bit. That butter be so rich. I hope she up. potato cream put that top back on now baby that's it that's, that's it right there honey shoot yeah she's gonna have to add some salt to that i ain't even gonna cap come on y'all get them lights up get them lights up What's up, Shady Camelbell? To Shady Camelbell, Shadia, Shadia, Shaday, Campbell, two seven one. Gun butchering your name. Thank y'all. So basically, that's what they're doing. It's on. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me see. Let y'all see that. Okay. Forty one minutes. 41 minutes on there, still cooking. <clears throat> I ain't putting no music on because I want to upload this live stream to my YouTube channel. And when I be playing that music, I have to, it's hard to edit it out. And YouTube don't play that, you get copyright quick. But see, TikTok don't care because they're going to delete your live in 30 days, anyways. make sure i read everything okay we got a steam chart over here so it says easy refill water right there that's where you pour that water in it if you see your level on your water going down y'all i can't hardly see with it in here let me see and it look like we need to add some more water. Wait, I can't tell. I cannot tell if it need water or not. That's hot. Child, when it get done, I'm finna bust it down, baby. And watch some Netflix. Ooh, look at that mix. I'm gonna have to show y'all from that salmon. Oh, it's gonna be smelling like seafood stuff up there. Ew. I'm gonna have to mop with some lemon, get that smell up. Whole bunch of cats everywhere. Let me see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I want to flip it over and then I don't. It's full of water, so I don't need no more water because I just looked in there. It's just hot. I can't hold it up and show y'all at the same time. Let me see. Can I show y'all? No, I wear glasses. I just don't ever have them on. Which is dumb. 
Wear your glasses. Can y'all see that? Y'all see it down in there? That salmon and sauce, all that guacamole dropping down in there. You know what? Can't, can't. I was to say I was going to rotate it, but you can't. Because it got to go like that on levels. But, anywho, it'll be alright. Just like when it's salmon be cooking like that. I don't know what it is that I can't even call it. Gooey stuff. I don't like that. That got to that gotta come off. That's why I want to flip it. But I guess I'll keep letting it steam to it cook all that on there but it's showing you it's easy to feel in this little flap right here well show y'all right there if you need to which i don't it's a lot of water in there and we, got, we, got, we down to 37 minutes on here all right look like i'm gonna keep letting it go how i need to go Shout out to all the people that have chronic pain. And I ain't being fun. I'm dead ass serious. I suffer with chronic pain, baby. Just doing daily physical shit. My body be hurting like a mug. Cooking and all. That's why I do easy meals now. Oh, y'all. I really want to put some Cajun seasoning on here. But I ain't gonna do it because my daughter don't like everything spicy like I do. Okay. <laughs> Say hi, I love it. Open that dish and let me see. <laughs> so we got some vegetables in there. And we got some salmon. It's dripping water. But I got some salmon in there. That's why I was saying how the gooey stuff coming up. I really want to flip my salmon, but I don't want to chance it breaking up. So I always put it on the skin side. It's my first time using a steamer. It says tips for food steamer. That's what I'm about to read now. Always place longer cooking food items in steam one, which is the bottom. So you know the salmon is going to have to cook longer than the vegetables. So see, I was just talking about rotating. No, nope. you don't need to rotate it. Whatever got to cook the longest goes at the bottom. Right there, it said, always place longer cooking food items in one steam bowl, which is that one. Cooking time will be different according to different food, food size and quantity. That's why I picked something really light to test this out with. It says, compare steam two bowl and steam three bowl food cooks faster in one steam bowl. So... They're talking about this bowl and the top bowl. They're saying that this is going to cook faster than those two. Because the steam is rising up. So how these are cooking is coming from the bottom steam. But that salmon is getting all that first steam that's coming up. It's getting all that heat that's going up. And then the steam just rises. The heat is in there. Keep your top on so it's making everything just hot and circulating. You can see all the water just going all down just steaming all that good smelling is going on in there 
So it says, in order to achieve better cooking results, please keep food size uniform. If food size is different, you can put small size into the top layer. So basically, don't overcrowd it, okay? Only fit what can what it can hold, okay? Because you want it to cook evenly. Now, this right here is enough for, I'm cooking this for two people, just me and my daughter. We both got two salmons a piece, and we're going to split these veggies. And she she probably don't, she like broccoli and all that. She don't even like cheese on her broccoli or none of that. She'll eat it just like this, but I got some Asian sauce that we're going to add on it. And it says, don't fill the steamer pot completely with food because it needs some space for the steam to flow into each steam bowl. So if you jam pack these things with a whole bunch of food, how is the steam going to be able to get through that and rise through the holes, the circulations to get through? So it's saying don't jam it up, you know, try to don't overpack it. All right. So steaming chart, we have a steaming chart here. What foods can we cook in here? Asparagus, okay? And it's showing you asparagus right here, tier one, two, and three. If you're cooking asparagus in here, you can use level one, two, and three, which is three is right here. We're not using three because I'm not cooking anything. Okay, but it does have three levels oh that smell good okay if you're cooking asparagus you use the three levels approximate cooking time you can use 13 minutes 16 minutes or 25 minutes and the minutes go by tier three two and one if you're cooking in level three with the spares you're going to put it on 25 minutes level two 16 minutes level one 13 minutes so let's say you want to cook some carrots in here. Carrots, you can cook carrots in level three, two, and one. But if you cook in carrots in the bottom one, level three, it said cut pieces. Cut the carrots up in pieces. On all of them, it's saying cut the carrots up in pieces. I mean, to each his own, whatever you want to do, whatever works for you. But sometimes you need to follow the chart so things can be cooked properly. And then when we don't follow the chart, and we say, oh, this junk don't work. This junk mess this up. Because we ain't read. We ain't do what the manufacturer said how to do it. Okay? So, it says for a two-tier cut pieces, 15 minutes. It's showing you how long it'll take for cut pieces. Not whole carrots. Cut pieces. It'll take 15 minutes if you want to cook carrots. You can even cook Brussels sprouts in here. In each level. Three, two, and one. However, if you're going to cook Brussels sprouts down here, you're going to put the Brussels sprouts in for 26 minutes. If you're going to put your Brussels sprouts up here, they're going to be in for 15 minutes. Level 1 going to be 15 minutes as well. You can even do corn in here. You can cook corn at all three levels, okay? But they say cut pieces of corn for the bottom tier. You put corn in here, 25 minutes. Remember, the level 3 always cook faster. Two tier. 20 minutes top tier 15 minutes so 15 20 25 that's what i'm seeing on corn for rice 80 grams if you're measuring for rice you can cook rice in one two and three tier one tier 80 grams for 30 minutes two tier 80 grams for 35 minutes three tier 80 grams for 45 minutes Potatoes, cooking in one, two, and three tier. If you're in the one tier, cut pieces 16 minutes. Second tier, cut pieces 20 minutes. Third tier, cut pieces 25 minutes. If you're doing broccoli, like we have broccoli in here. Okay, it's saying for broccoli, we're on second tier. And it's saying do steam your broccoli cut pieces for 15 minutes one tier 15 minutes third tier 25 minutes okay thank you kofi kofi hamid probably saying your name wrong when i get off i'll follow you back but we're doing broccoli as well now broccoli and them carrots are actually it was already done it's just warming up steaming Okay, it smells so good every time I open it, y'all. 
Oh, I can't wait to cook all kind of stuff in here. We'll steam all kind of stuff in here. So they're showing us that. Let's see what else on here. Okay, chicken, 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 chicken. Who loves chicken, y'all? All right, if you want to cook some chicken in here, third tip is that cut pieces of chicken will take 25 minutes in the bottom. It will take 20 minutes in the middle, and it will take 16 minutes in the top. Okay, if you're doing fish like we're doing salmon, fish cut pieces 20 minutes for the bottom, and we at 28 minutes. Salmon actually is done. We about to get it up out of here. It says second tier 20 minutes, uh, top tier 16 minutes. If you're doing eggs, I don't know about steaming eggs, y'all, but I'm gonna try. Now, I say dumplings. Now, I got some dumplings. I love eating dumplings. I even got a dumpling machine. Y'all, that's something. I got so much stuff to show y'all and do. Like, I'm, I'm really, really about my content right now in fall time. I'm at my highest in fall. So, dumpling, one, two, interior. This thing is smoking, y'all. Steam. Well, not smoking, but steaming. Let me check on this salmon. Dumplings frozen, 45 minutes, second tier, 35 minutes, one tier, 25 minutes. You can even put clams in here. You're going to put clams, put them at the bottom, 25 to 27 minutes until clams open. I so want to flip that. Tricky kids. She bite being alive. You ain't tricking nobody. I'm in the live. I see what you're doing. Alright. So I just added some more season over that guacamole. This salmon is basically done. Piece. How about I eat this piece? Hot, hot, hot. Yeah. Oh, got that kick of that Cajun. Yeah, it's doing right there, baby. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Piece this plate. we about to eat. Turn the thing off. Still hot with the top over here on. Let me see. So let me finish. Clams, and you can also cook lobster tails in here. It's showing lobster tails 20 minutes in the third tier, second tier, 16 minutes, first tier, 13 minutes. So that is a lot. And then it goes with the cleaning and maintenance to remove water and minerals, minerals deposit from water reservoir add three cups of vinegar plus cold water to max fill line follow oh yeah because that vinegar gonna get that that's key right there that vinegar remember i said y'all i said it's gonna take a while to get this smell out of here so it's telling you to add three cups of white vinegar plus cold water to the max fill line follow how the steam steps without adding any parts Set steam timer for 20 minutes after the machine cool completely and white water reservoir with a clean cloth. So that vinegar going to help um, get that smell out, whatever you cooking. So you won't have to worry about that smell. Because my daughter loves seafood. I don't. I'm not big on seafood. <clears throat> but I do like salmon, fish. Um, I eat mussels. I like fried shrimp, but not steamed like Seafood boils, my daughter do all of that, and that smell be in the house, I cannot stand it. So they're showing you how to get that smell out 
with that vinegar. But, you know, hey, this is going to complete my tutorial or review. <laughs> I'm about to enjoy my dental because it's definitely dinner time. Supper is before six o'clock. I'm a supper person. Uh, like I said, I was really, really busy today. So I never eat this freaking late, but it's something light. So it shouldn't hurt my tummy. And me and my daughter is about to eat dinner and see you guys later. Y'all be blessed. Thank you guys for the 134 likes. Thank you guys for coming in. Thank you for the ones that commented. And thank you for the ones that's always coming by to support me. I will be to see you guys later. So you guys stay blessed and have a good night. Peace.